Let's see. Hmm. The game's evolutionist play. Let's take a look. Freddie Davis here, president of Market Faith Ministries, coming to you once again from the library. Market Faith Ministries? Where parishioners are actually customers? Dude, you're not supposed to say that out loud. Market Faith Ministries provides radical disciple training to help believers become more knowledgeable of and confident in their Christian faith. Wait a minute. Which Christian faith? Did you know that scientists have now identified the moment in time when our earliest animal ancestors evolved to be warm-blooded? Latest estimate, 233 million years ago. And the methodology involved in determining that is pretty effing awesome. Links for the article that I believe this person is referencing is down in the video description and also a summary um, explaining the studies. Pretty cool. I'm, I appreciate this person pointing out the article. Yes, that's right. Before that evolutionary jump, cold-blooded animals were at the top of the evolutionary ladder. There is no such thing as the evolutionary ladder, and no scientist says there is. And big surprise, it happened 19 million years later than evolutionary scientists had previously thought. Another massive shakeup in our understanding of evolution. Um, earlier, not later, and, oh my gods, plural, scientists have corrected themselves when they got new data. How dare they? That is so unchristian of them. They should just get an answer, right or wrong, and stick to it, no matter what the evidence says, if it's wrong or not. It's the Christian thing to do. These kinds of surprises seem to happen all the time now. Yeah, that's a good thing. These scientists figured out this very thing by measuring the size and shape of the inner ears of 341 animals, 243 living species, and 64 extinct ones. They used these measurements to infer body temperatures. And they inferred with a really cool methodology. I encourage people to read the article this video's description link. The narrower the ear tubes, the warmer the body temperature must be. Did you know that they discovered that 54 of the extinct mammals developed this narrow inner ear canal structure 233 million years ago? Using their measurements, they concluded that the transition from cold-blooded to warm-blooded took less than one million years. Previously, they thought it took tens of millions of years. Yes, and that's the best part of the study. It's pretty darn cool, like I said. I thank this person for pointing it out to me. Of course, follow-up studies still need to be uh, done to confirm these findings via other means. But scientists are really excited about their work. Scientists are excited. How does this person know? Scientists are excited about this study and the conclusions. Excited. Over the years, many different approaches have been used to try to solve this mystery. What mystery? And those have often been very vague or confusing in their results. Scientists think that this new method, though, is good because it uses a large number of modern species and it suggests this feature evolved at a time when many other mammalian body features were also falling into place. Hmm. Falling into place. I wonder what this genus means by mammalian features falling into place. He should write a paper on that. 
Honestly, I never cease to be amazed at the scientific studies that supposedly prove various things about the evolution of life on Earth. Well, who the fuck asked this person for his opinion? If he does not have the credentials, if he does not have the backup of education to determine what the study actually says and why it says it and the conclusions and why the conclusion was made, this person's opinion doesn't, isn't worth, well, shit is worth in some places, you know, when you can compost it correctly. Um, don't want to use human shit if you're going to use the compost and you're going to be in there and a lot of it. This person's opinion is not even worth that. So, hey, person, you know what you can do with your opinion. First of all, there's no proof of anything. These scientists don't even begin with science. They begin with a philosophical assumption. Then, using an unproven logic based on that assumption, they extrapolate to conclusions that they can only speculate about. Okay, dude, state specifically what was wrong with the study and its conclusions. Give specific examples. Then, write a paper about it and correct the scientist. And why did you suddenly go black, like my men? The first assumption is that macroevolution is true. This stupid shit again. Macroevolution is not true. Any more than rain is true. The conclusion that macroevolution has happened, is currently happening, and will continue to happen is true that it's possible for more complex life forms to evolve from less complex forms. Complex forms? No. There's no science to demonstrate that that's even possible, much less true. Yet here they are, again, making that assumption, then speculating that the size of ear holes in animals can tell them when warm-blooded animals appear on the earth. Yeah, um, he only has to read the paper and then he would understand what he is not understanding. Also, I see that the website is being displayed, www.marketfaith.org. I think I will go there. I see Worldview Study Survey. Worldview Survey. I think I will take it. I have not seen it yet. We will enjoy it together for the first time that we will always remember, even if we part, you know, somewhere in the future. Anyhow, let's see. What you believe is very personal part of your life, but also a part of that is, has very deep personal meaning to you. Is this a horoscope? Am I reading the newspaper today for Pisces? There is an, an element of every belief system that is called a worldview. Flucka, 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 fluck, fluck, flucka, flucka, fl to flucka, flucka, help you more of sense, flucka, flucka foundation. After you have the opportunity to take the survey, you will find a brief explanation of the implications of your tendencies for your life in the results. It is our hope that by gaining this deeper understanding about yourself, you will be able to work to make your own life more meaningful. Scientology. This is what Scientology says. Free personality test. Is this guy a Scientology person? Okay, survey. Worldview survey. Put a check by each statement you agree with. Right and wrong are relative in the book that I recognize as God's Relevation. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Right and wrong are revealed in the book that I recognize as God's Revelation. What book? Which God? I have a choice of creating a personal relationship with God by faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, um... 
So the god in question is the Canaanite volcano god Yahweh, I guess. History is a series of events that occur throughout time which leads to an eternal future. Um, well, billions and billions and billions of years. Actually, trillions of years. The solar system, not the solar system, this, this universe will continue to expand, expand, expand because it is flat. As far as we can tell. So, eternal future? Yeah, I would say yes. I mean, history being the history of the universe, um, history of Earth doesn't signify at all. So, I have one check mark. At death, the essential essence, this essential essence of a human being either reincarnates into another life or it is advanced enough, transcends the material reality, and becomes part of cosmos. I don't get it. I mean, explain your words. Essential essence. Precious bodily fluids. I don't deny women my es- No. I don't- I like women, but I deny them my essence. I- my quote is really fucked up. So I have no idea what that means, so it leaves a no check mark. There is a spiritual reality that exists beyond the physical world, and I hope one day I will become a part of it. No. I have a profound duty to care of the needs of the gods. No. At death I go to heaven if I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. No. Why would anybody want a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Personal. You would think Jesus Christ would get bloody weary of having personal relationships with billions of people. <sighs> Material reality is an illusion, and one day I will transcend this illusion and become part of the cosmic whole. No. Human beings were especially created by God for the purpose of fellowship with himself. Why doesn't he just do himself? Why have humans? Uh, anyhow, never mind. Take that image out of my brain. I know that human beings have knowledge simply because it is an obvious part of human existence. Check mark. At death, I cease to exist. Check mark. Human beings are simply the most advanced form of animal life on earth. No. There is one God who has revealed himself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You know what really pisses off fundamentalist Christians? Counting their gods in front of them. No check mark, by the way. God created me with special ability to have knowledge. Um, actually, autism did that. I mean, I have special abilities and skills and aptitudes that are atypical, but as far as I know, the gods had nothing to do with that, so I will have to leave that check mark unchecked. Reality exists in a state of eternity and the concept of time is an illusion. No. God is a made-up concept to help some people explain what they cannot rationally understand. Check mark. Since reality exists in a state of eternity, I find the concept of history to be meaningless. No and no. There is no special reason why I have knowledge. That's just part of human being, being human. Um, I studied, I learn, I read a shitload of science articles and books on science and actually sociology. I'm trying to be more human. So, no check mark. There's no special reason why I have knowledge is not true. I believe there is one God, no, and neither do you, person who wrote this. My life is important, but no more important than any other life form. Check mark. Yes, I agree with that. There is a spiritual reality that exists beyond the physical world, and one day I will be a god in that place. Ah, Mormon. No check mark. 
Human beings are a part of the whole of reality and are working through successive lives to advance a, to a level of total oneness with the whole. I'm sorry, no check mark, and I don't want to be oneness with the, with the whole. I mean, I can't even stand being around three or four people for long, so. I pray to the one and only God who exists in heaven. That's Chrome, by the way, or Crom. Uh, so no check mark. I generally follow society's rules of right and wrong in order to ensure the survival of the group. No. I follow ethics and virtue and honor and commitment. I do not follow society's rules of right and wrong because they are often wrong. God exists, but am not sure if it is possible to personally know him. No and no. At death, my my es at death, my essence recycles into another living being. <laughs> I really hope that's true and that the Southern Baptists reincarnate as black men. No check mark. History helps me to understand the way God has worked in the past. Um, no and no, no evidence. <sighs> History helped me know what pleases and displeases the gods. By the way, the only um, thing that the gods actually punished, like the Greek gods, was hubris. Can't stand hubris. So I'm royally fucked if the, Gr the Greek gods are the real ones. The concept of right and wrong is a human invention that has been invented... For the purpose of the survival of the species, yes. And by the way, it changes. Knowledge is actually an illusion, and when we realize our oneness with the cosmos, we will be on knowledge. No, check mark. <laughs> knowledge is a special characteristic of the image of God which has been imparted to me. I'm sorry, what do the gods know exactly, precisely? I have been reading about the um, pro uh, the wars between Rome and other people, and the Carthaginians, specifically Hannibal, and the way he kicked ass of the Ro of the Romans. So, does God know that history? And if not, then why not? And if so, how does one know? So, no check mark. In a previous life, I was a different person or life form than I am now. Anybody who checks that box should probably see a psychological you know, specialist. History, to me, is nothing more than a record of what has happened in the past. Yes. God created the world and humanity for a purpose, and he especially uses... My life to accomplish that person. Good bloody gods, I hope not. Fuck. Why would the gods, or a god, or the god, use me for its purpose without my permission? What a horrible god that would be. No check mark. History is a series of random events that occur in time but are without any inherent meaning. In, the answer is no and no. History is not a series of random events. Cause and effect. History is the cause and effect study of what has happened and what we can project will happen um, using, um, you know, like percentages and ex never mind. <sighs> Without any inherent meaning, what does that mean? So, no check mark. God is the sum of all things. I don't understand the question, so no check mark. There is no reality beyond material existence. Obviously, a check mark. Right and wrong relates to what I do that pleases or displeases the gods. Um, the gods have yet to tell me what pleases them and what not does not please them. And if the gods need me to please them, then how are they gods? Would they not know what pleases them and 
please themselves or them or use their feet. Um, I presume they have feet. Yeah. So, no check mark. I know right and wrong because God has revealed it to me by the created order, by Jesus Christ, by his written revelation, and by his spirit. I don't understand the question, so no check mark. The cosmos is perfect at every moment, and right and wrong are an illusion. What we realize are oneness with the cosmos, we will be on morality. Um, the cosmos is not perfect. The cosmos is not not perfect. Perfection does not apply to the cosmos. No check mark. There is a spiritual reality that exists beyond the physical world, and I am absolutely sure that one day I will become a part of it. No. No check mark. When something bad happens, I try to find which God has been offended and try to appease it. Um, well, technically, um, I could check that box because, you know, there's got to be gods about, you know, constipation. There must be a constipation god out there somewhere because when I sit on the toilet and I just can't do my business, oh, God, please help me. Ugh. So... I'm not going to check that box because, you know, the very few gods have actually, you know, been of help to me. So, it is possible for human beings to have knowledge because they randomly evolved to the level where that is possible. Nothing randomly evolves. So, no check mark. Human life is a special creation of God and is more important than any other types of living creatures. Why would humans be more important than everybody else? It is the humans that are fucking up the planet for everybody else. Humans should go to extinct for the benefit of everybody else. So, no check mark. At death, at death I enter the spirit world and become a god. Um, well, I'm not a Mormon, so the answer is no. There is no God. Nobody knows that. Define what God means. Give it attributes and explain it. And then produce evidence for the existence of that God. And I will then say if it exists or not. So I cannot check that box. At death, human beings either go to heaven or hell based on how they lived their life on earth. No. We know right and wrong because it is the moral teachings revealed in the Bible. The Bible does not know what is right and what is wrong. <sighs> Should I go out and find somebody who wants to sell his daughter to me? I mean, she would have to be at least 30 years old because I'm not going to go any lower and, you know, like, so, yeah, the Bible has nothing to say about right and wrong. Human beings are able to have materi material and spiritual knowledge because God created us with that ability. No check mark. The gods are able to cause good or evil in my life based on my actions towards them. No, by the way, the Canaanite volcano god Yahweh has said that he is the source of evil. Says so in the Bible, the Hebrew Testament. No check mark. Knowledge really doesn't exist. It only seems that it does from my human perspective. I am not a member of the United States Republican Party, so no check mark. History is a meaningful succession of events that began with the creative act of God and is moving towards the return of Jesus Christ. Um, no. And. Make up your mind. Which God is which? Is there a God? Is there a Holy Spirit? Or is there a Jesus Christ? Pick one. You say there's one God, so pick one. Let us know who it is. Provide evidence. And I will thank you for that. My ancient ancestors evolved from lower life forms, which has brought me to my current level of evolution. Well... 
my relatives were like they were lower life forms um, in my opinion um the first uh reese that came to the united states um came from wales and he was a court clown so is that a lower life form i'm going to leave that checked box raw uh, uh not checked because evolution has nothing to do with lower life forms human beings are material beings who will become spirit beings at death no one day i will become a part of the ultimate existence which is god um no at death human beings Will all enter the same spiritual part of reality? No. I was especially created by God for relationship with him. Why would a God want a relationship with me? A. God. God out there. Canaanite volcano God. Get a fucking life. <sighs> no check mark. The idea of, spirit, of a spiritual world with a heaven and hell are pure mythology. Check box. Well, the person who wrote this got one right. History is a meaningful succession of events. That, oh, this is repeat. Okay. I don't know why they didn't have an editor for this. There are many individual gods. Um, no. The material world that I live in is really just an illusion. I am not a Christian scientist, so no. Human beings have a material and spiritual knowledge capability. We gain knowledge by life experience, by relation, revelation from God, and by our personal relationship with Jesus Christ. No, and no, and no. I know right and wrong because these things are specifically written down in God's book. No. The concept of right and wrong came to be known over the years as humanity's experienced life and figured out what pleased and displeased the gods. Why is the survey repeating itself? At death, human beings simply cease to exist. Check mark. Yes. My life is simply one step of the, on the cycle of existence that lead ultimately ultimate unity with all things. Repeating itself. No check mark. Those who enter into a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ in this life will, at death, go to heaven. Those who did not will go to hell. Well, who the fuck made that rule up? No check mark. At death, I will enter the eternal spiritual, spiritual world. Now, if people really understood the nature of the universe, they would realize that the concept of right and wrong are totally meaningless. No, the universe has nothing to say regarding what is right and wrong. Suffering. Suffering is what determines what is right and what is wrong. Suffering. Suffering is the universal enemy. And it behooves humanity to ease suffering wherever and whenever possible. That is my religion. The easement of suffering has nothing to do with right and wrong. It has to do with easing suffering, regardless of if it's right or wrong, is according to society. I am ethical. I am not moral. God created the world for a purpose, and I am here as a special creation. Repeat, no checkbox. I am able to personally relate to God. Um, no. <laughs> my ego is vast. I mean, my ego is so fucking huge. Is it huge? It is far, far bigger than Jupiter or the average gas planet. Uh, planet. But personally relate to a God? Um... I don't even like Aphrodite. Some of her attributes um, are actually quite violent. So, no check mark. It is a marvelous thing that human beings evolved to the level of being able to acquire knowledge. Yes. Depending on your, the uses of the word marvelous. Human beings are different than all other creatures 
in that they have a spiritual part. No. Produce evidence that that is true, and then, by golly, I'll check the box. History will one day come to an end <coughs> because of events surrounding the return of Jesus Christ. Why didn't they show up the first time instead of waiting for the second time? No check mark. <coughs> there are various places I can go to worship different gods. I guess, I mean, depending on if the god is like a chili relleno, you know, I would go to a Mexican restaurant. If I, if a god is, um, I don't know, spaghetti and meatballs, I would go to an Italian restaurant to worship different gods, but no check mark. Okay, submit. And I have to cough again. Submit. And by the way, I'm going to get my chest x-ray Tuesday. Submit button. Naturalism, nine. Animism, two. East, far Eastern thought, zero. Theism, zero. Revelation, revelational revelation. Relational revelation, zero. I don't know. I rank high on naturalism, which I agree with. And I'm glad that this survey has done its job and explained myself to myself. <coughs> Even though I already fucking knew it.